Well, it is the big day and I'm about to head into the Taito company and sign the final papers. I did a lot of the signing ahead of time over the internet, but there's just, you know, the few that you got to finish up on. After that, we're heading straight over to the house. I'm going to tell my parents that they can bring my items over. Um, so they're going to bring the moving truck and Stella with them from their house, which is about 15 minutes away. So we're going to head into the title company that's back here, get all that done. And then we're on to moving into the house today. We're here, so let's head on inside, get the door unlocked, the door, garage door open, and then we're gonna get to moving these things in once my parents arrive. All right, I know quite a few people actually commented on the sound of the highway noise, or the road noise out there, and so here's what it sounds like with all the doors open, just like this. So it's actually not that bad. And you can't hear it when all the doors are closed either. Yeah, here's the interior. I'm gonna go get some of the stuff out of my car before they get here with the, <laughs> that curtain's caught. It's funny. Time to unload the truck. Stella made it. Oh, she freaked out in the car like usual, just like she did with me along the way. So my mom's got the, the job of watching Stella. It's an easy job. I'm gonna continue getting stuff out of the car and they're unloading the truck. My Princess and Ivy. Oh, Stella, you don't even know what to do. So I've got some of my tables here. At another point, I'm gonna find a, a couch and an area rug, and I need to get a TV. Uh, but I'm also gonna put my stuff in the, this cabinet and my other cabinet. And then we have all of the boxes to go through still, which is gonna be really great. I'm, actually, I'm really tired. I don't even, it's not that exciting to me, really. Oh, it feels so nice out here. And then over here, we've got the little rolling cart. So something I didn't show in the other video is kind of how bad these cabinets are. Like this is an unfinished side. And then underneath it, it's missing like the toe kick thing on this one. This whole wood is unfinished. And then see how there's like not a gap there between these two doors? Well, you go over here to this one and it's a different cabinet base. There's a big gap. So um, when I actually switch all these cabinets out, that's gonna be fixed. Of course I could paint them, but I don't know. The upper cabinets are in really good shape, pretty much. But then if you're gonna change the bottom ones out, I don't know, it just seems like you should probably just do all, everything new so it matches. The counters are not in bad shape or anything. They've got some wear and stuff, but obviously quartz is way better. So I'm gonna do quartz, do the nice new sink. That's like a plywood, little thing and it sticks out further than the cabinet than the rest of it so we'll fix all that and then this is the floor here it's sort of this uh, kind of medium brown with some gray in it I'm actually thinking of changing all the floors I know I mentioned that in the one video when I came in then I, I've been back and forth about the whole thing because like that's not a bad color but I don't necessarily care for the big giant squares. And I, I think the bigger thing is like the fact that it's like that flooring and then this flooring. And then in the, th these rooms aren't really that great either. This is the spare room. This room is not bad with the carpet. The primary bedroom is actually the worst one. Here, let's take a look at that. I got the bed up. See, there's like these stains and stuff. So yeah, you could clean it, but it's kind of a tired old carpet and I'm not even a fan of it really. So I'm thinking about, ooh, let me show you the two different woods that I'm looking at. Everything is just a little bit everywhere. I thought I'd put those in here. Oh, here they are, the little samples. Okay, so these are the two, the wood things that I'm looking at. So those are the two right there. Now, my mom likes, at first she liked this top one because it has a little bit more of that brown sort of neutral look to it. And the other one's a little bit more yellowy. It's actually I'm trying to get it to show up accurately on camera. There, you can see them kind of side by side. I'm really leaning on the one on the right. I'm curious what others would think. The one on the left is the most on trend, I think, because it has some of that, like, there's a little bit of gray in it. Not a lot, but a little bit. And the thing is, I've never been a fan of the gray floors because it's just such a, 
I don't know, it looks kind of cold and not this, this is pretty warm actually, but I like this color right there. I like this one more so. This is from Lowe's, it's called Flax Oak. So, and it wasn't badly priced either per square foot. I think it was like $2.29 or something. So that's, that's what I'm looking at, probably this one. Now I have just those three tables and <laughs> little makeshift chair. And then I'll get a couch or a sofa or a sectional or something. But I haven't decided what I want to do quite yet. I'm in not really a big hurry. So I've got a bed. That's step one. Step one, have a bed. And then when I get, I'd also like to get some sort of a table right here. Yeah, I definitely want to get this kitchen all redone. And the floors. So the floors that we were looking at, those two options, the one I like, I would like it to be everywhere including in here and the bathrooms, this thing, and the bedrooms. Get a big TV mounted up there and that'll look great. We had the walkthrough yesterday and I didn't even realize there was closets because I was looking at the big picture. So I didn't notice that there was like a closet here. That's nifty. And then there's this other closet here. Didn't even know, had no clue. What will I put in there? This mattress was actually free. The previous owner had it for two weeks. They didn't like it. I've, I've laid on there and it's actually pretty good. It's pretty, pretty nice. So it was a free one. I think I'm gonna do my live sales from in here. I haven't quite decided yet. And then this room over here is actually where I'm gonna have all of the shelves and everything for my inventory. So they're all right there. I'll get that, I'll get them put up. I don't know, maybe tomorrow or something. Stella just doesn't know what to do with herself. She just doesn't even know. I got this mat all ready to go. It's this like anti-fatigue mat that a subscriber got me a while ago. So that's really awesome. Got my little mat. And then I need to get a table put right in here. Just like one of those rectangle ones. Like, you know what I mean? All right, let's head into Publix. Oh my gosh, look at all the fruit. I am really not used to this amount of selection. Oh my gosh. I was living out in the boonies before this. And this store is only seven minutes away too. Oh my gosh, look at all the cheese. This is crazy. Some potatoes. These are just like a pack of them. I was thinking for tonight, one of these salads. That would be so cool. Look at this one. There's apples. Oh, look at this one. Berry spring mix. It's only $5. Wow. Okay, I might get that for tonight. Well, this is just like a whole new world to me. I am not used to this. So these are all these are all pasta sauces. Oh my gosh! I'm looking for the beans. Oh, there they are. Hello, beans. I want these black beans in a can. Okay. So let's see here. I think it's just these. But now what? Oh, they're a dollar each or something. Okay, I'll get a couple. I'm not gonna get ten. Isn't that a thing where, like, if you get, like, you don't have to get ten, they're just like a dollar? I'll get three of them. And then I need to get rice. I need to get some rice. So I got three things of beans. Where is the brown rice? I don't know. We'll find it. It's beyond. There is so much rice. Look at all this rice. Okay, so I'm just looking for some brown and a box. I mean, there's probably a more economical way to do it. Maybe you just you do it in a bag, but I think a box would be appropriate. Let's just do um, this stuff. That looks decent. Minute rice, brown, minute rice, brown. Okay, we'll get that. Brilliant, okay. I'm not, this isn't gonna be like a full, we're just gonna get some staples today so I can have dinner tonight and tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll get other stuff throughout the week. What is this? Buy two? Oh, okay. So you need to get three of them and you, okay. I'm going to get the lime. I really like the lime a lot. We'll get a couple different ones, I think. Cherry. I've had cherry. It's not very good. I'm going to do the strawberry. I'll do the strawberry. I think I'm going to do another lime as well. Let's just do one more lime because I like it. 
The grapefruit might be pretty good too. There's a grapefruit up there. I don't know. Okay, so I actually need to get some of this while I'm over here and thinking about it. So we'll do, I like, maybe I, th I don't even know. I don't think I've ever had this one before. This one looks pretty good because it has no scent. So that's nice. No scent here. Um, and then I need like a thing to put in the dryer thing. What are those called? The dryer, my bobbers. Where are they at? The dryer sheets. Am I just being a dum-dum? I don't see them. Maybe I don't understand. On them, here they are. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Honestly, I have not done laundry in like <laughs> five years because Aaron wanted to do that all by himself. Ooh, a scrub daddy, I've always wanted one. Can I have it? Um, I'm just gonna get, oh wow, you get all of those. I like that a lot, I'm so excited. I'm gonna get to scrubbing. But like, yeah, I wasn't allowed to use the washer and dryer because Aaron was very particular about it. That was his job and then my job was the dishes and we could not swap rolls ever, so. I didn't get to really partake in this stuff, so I'm excited. There's a ton of eggs too. We're gonna have to figure out which eggs we want. Almost forgot the butter. What a dork. You need butter with potatoes. Oh my gosh, and we need salt and pepper too. That's like really, really needed. Salt and pepper. I started getting the, the grinding kind of a pepper. I just think it's more potent. Oh, they also got the salt down there, I just realized. Hmm. No, well, we're just gonna go with the sea salt today. Okay, so I've got all my little doodads. I think I'm about ready, I think. They were so nice in there. Oh my gosh, they were like, <laughs> first of all, she put my eggs in the in the basket. The softest I've ever seen anybody do anything. I'm like, they're, they're fragile, but like not that much. They were like, do you need any help to your car, sir? I'm like, I guess it's cause it's Florida. Many people do, <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, no, I've got it from here. The cart has wheels. So, but that was really exciting. So uh, I think I'll go ahead and wrap up this video. It's been an eventful day, of course, with everything. And I made it down to Florida. So I'm gonna go home, have my salad, have a baked potato, and that's gonna be the night. So thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.